and welcome to another D2IQ tutorial. I'm your host, Chris Wilson, a Solutions Architect here at D2IQ, and today we'll be discussing how to manage an existing CNCF conformant Kubernetes cluster with DKP Enterprise. The distribution we'll be taking a look at today is called AKS, and it's part of Microsoft's Azure Cloud. Azure Kubernetes Service, or AKS, is a CNCF conformant distribution of Kubernetes, and it has several cloud-native integrations with Microsoft's other offerings through the Azure Cloud. It offers dynamic auto-scaling for supporting workloads based on resource consumption, as well as that being the billing model so that it's pay-as-you-go. Integration with other services like Microsoft's Active Directory offer things like security, identity, and other monitoring tools for your AKS distributions. It also supports workload nodes that can run any of the common operating systems, such as these flavors of Linux or even Windows. One thing that you may not be quite as familiar with, uh, as with other CNCF conformant distributions of Kubernetes, is that in order to get the kubeconfig file uh, to interact with our cluster, we will have to fetch that via the AZ or Azure CLI command line tool. Uh, the command here will have to be filled in with specific details to replace these variables, but in essence, you'll do an AKS get credentials, provide the requisite resource group name, and then put a file, which is where the contents of the kubeconfig will be written. Uh, the dash dash admin at the bottom is just so that we have the highest administrative rights uh, for our context in our kubeconfig. Our hands-on demonstration today will consist of two major steps. The first of which will be attaching our existing AKS cluster into our DKP Enterprise Management cluster. Once that attachment has been performed, we'll then verify the federation of our day two applications into our newly attached AKS cluster. Starting from our DKP Enterprise Management Overview dashboard, we'll proceed immediately on the left side to our clusters panel to get started. From this panel, we can see a previously attached K3S cluster that is currently running. And we'll be following suit with our own AKS cluster. So let's go to the top right and add a new one. From here, we'll move to the far right option for attaching an existing cluster with no additional networking restrictions. Now, once we're here, we will need to paste our kubeconfig file, which I already have copied. Once pasted in, the auto-generated name can be changed but uh, I think I'll just leave this how it is for now. And we'll go ahead to the top right and hit Create once we're satisfied with all of the things that we've input. And now we wait for the attachment to complete. Our EKS cluster is now up. Let's head into the Details section to take a look at the deployed applications for our Day 2 stack. Inside of the application dashboard screen, we can see the dashboards available, but we want to head to the next tab and look at the applications themselves. For now, there aren't any as we wait for the rest of our application definitions to be applied to this cluster. So we'll wait on this and head back when it's done. After about three to five minutes, we should see all of our applications come up, as we can see now, divided into our standard categories of monitoring, security, and foundational. As we can see, we're still in the process of deploying, uh, but Cert Manager is deployed, and we'll see that the security deploys first, then foundational, uh, and then finally our monitoring stack. So here we are. We have a fully managed AKS cluster with a D2IQ Day 2 application stack being deployed right now from a centralized location, not having to do it ad hoc, cluster by cluster. To summarize, you can now bring your own AKS cluster in Microsoft Azure into your DKP Enterprise environment. Uh, the AKS cluster that we started with today is now integrated and centrally managed from our DKP Enterprise environment, and we no longer have to do ad hoc operations, nor do we have to waste any of the resources and manpower that you might have already dedicated to standing up the AKS clusters on your own. Thank you again for watching this video tutorial presented by D2IQ. We deliver an intelligent day to Kubernetes management platform at scale anywhere. Kubernetes done right. D2IQ. Thank you.